Next up is my pumpkin oatmeal. I'm just adding a little more flavor to your regular oatmeal. I've got two cups of water in here and two cups of almond milk, which adds this nice nuttiness to the flavor of the oatmeal. But the star of the show is just some regular canned pumpkin, some golden raisins, some pepitas, and of course, some oats. And this whole recipe came about um, I think it was maybe a couple weeks after Thanksgiving when I was really craving some pumpkin pie and there was none in the house. And it was early in the morning, but I still had this can of pumpkin puree. So I thought, hey, I can put this in my oatmeal and just bring back some of those great, warm, comforting flavors that remind me of Thanksgiving, you know? It's just one of the most magical times of year. I love it. So in goes the can of pumpkin puree into this milk mixture. And you know what, you can use regular milk if you don't have almond milk or can't be bothered to get it, no big deal. I just like that nutty flavor that it adds. Okay. Now for some golden raisins, about a couple tablespoons. I'm adding them now so they get nice and plump and moist in here. And here's what makes it special. I've got a bunch of spices, of course, that I want to add. And I'm trying to approximate pumpkin pie spice mix. Say that three times fast. <laughs> I've got a quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom, that nice flowery flavor, the warmth of some ground cinnamon, and some ground cloves, which really makes me think of the magic of the holiday time, you know? All right, whisk that all together. I'm gonna let that come to a boil. And that's what I'm gonna add my oats. Look at that gorgeous color. Isn't that great? It's such a good color to wake up to. In the meantime, for a nice crunchy topping to go on top of that oatmeal, I'm gonna to toast up some pumpkin seeds. Pepitas, are they pretty and green? But to get the full flavor, I'm gonna to toast them up a little bit until they're golden brown and fragrant. Keep an eye on them so they don't burn. Let me check on this milk here. It's coming to a boil, but I just want to taste it and make sure that it's seasoned well enough because this is it. This is what your oats are going to soak up. Oh, oh, it tastes so good. It just needs a little salt to really bring out that pumpkin flavor, but it really does taste like pumpkin pie. So I'm just going to add my oats. We've got four cups of liquid in there, so I'm going to use two cups of oats and these are the quick cooking old fashioned oats. So they should only take 10 to 15 minutes to cook until they get nice and luscious and creamy. Oh, it's so good. I love this oatmeal. And actually what I do is I make this at the beginning of the week on a Monday and I make enough to last me the whole week. And then every morning I warm up a portion with some milk. This is a pumpkin oatmeal and look at how gorgeous it is. I have a cute tray here of all the little toppings you can put over it. So I'm using some heavy cream, just a little. It's a special occasion, you're here. And then a little bit of honey over the top. And then if you don't like honey, I've got some maple sugar here as well. I love honey. Thank goodness for those little bees. And then for some crunch, some toasted pepitas, these little pumpkin seeds. They look so good. Oh, it's just so luscious.